have you ever looked around and come to the conclusion that you aren't happy with the current state of affairs? Have you ever thought that you are the only one doing things right while everyone else is spreading hate? Are you tired of punching Nazis and it having no effect on society? Well, today's your lucky day because Boston and Tifa are here to tell us how you can get your message across while simultaneously looking like a complete and utter twat. Take it away, Quinn. Alright, I said take it away, not play a fucking intro. Greetings. The fucking hijab's gone a bit strange, hasn't it? Fashion, man. I swear I'll never understand it. My name is Quinn, and this is Boston Antifa. Well, the sheet makes it look more like a Boston picnic, but go on. There's a war going on, and if you're not part of it, you're in the way. Yeah, spoken like a true asshole, right there. Something a fascist might say, don't you think? Today, we are going to be talking about the male dynamic of Antifa. Oh, fuck, here we go. Just when you thought you couldn't despise them any more than you already do. And the ways that we can improve it. So, stay tuned, and remember to fight back. Oh, the glopping game is strong with this one. But let me show you what I saw during all of that. Today, uh -huh. we are going to be talking about uh -huh. the male dynamic yeah. of Antifa. Yeah. And the ways that we can improve it. Totally, yeah. There will be no peace until this fascist regime is overthrown. Do you know, I completely agree. No one's safe until you fucks are off the street. Today, March 25th, 2017. Fellow Antifa comrades took to the streets for an anti-MAGA demo in cities across the country. Well, it's the 28th now, and Trump is still president, so good job, guys. Really nailed it there. And why the fuck are you going after MAGA anyway? You do know the KKK are still around, right? I'm just saying, actual fascists might be more up your street, you know? That's an actual worthy battle right there. But I guess that would take effort, wouldn't it? However... There are many within the ever-increasingly diverse Antifa community who have noticed a disturbing trend in the movement. Uh, oh, it's mostly white people. Um, you're all down for kicking the shit out of someone in your groups, but you get your ass handed to you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the properties you smash up are only guilty of being in the same place as your bullshit marches. I don't know. There is a fucking disproportionate amount of men participating in Antifa. Oh no, it's the men! There are too many men! Ever increasing numbers, yeah, but too many men! Especially in important leadership roles. And we would like to change that. You guys have leadership? Well, fuck me, that's an eye-opener. I thought you just flailed around with no clear aim. I mean, you do flail around with no clear aim, but apparently you do that under leadership. Who fucking knew? We need to start putting women into positions of power in Antifa. Wow, the feminist agenda has infected Antifa too. It's kind of impressive when you think about it. It's the only thing that could make them more deplorable than they already are. That is some ultimate form shit. Even if they don't want it. Even if the women don't want it, no means no, Antifa. Also, if some little bitch started hitting me like she did that guy, I'd be knocking a cunt out. I don't care who you are, you throw a punch, you're gonna get one back. Great women do not seek power. They have power thrust upon them. Actually, if you see this guy who is just trying to walk away after being punched by that little retard, you fucking cunts are about to thrust some violence upon him. And you show it in this video like it's something to be proud of, you fucking scum. Even positions like spokesperson should not be immune. Fucking hell, this is making me really angry now. Not what's being said, your organisation is already fucking ridiculous. Make it even more laughable if you want, it's completely up to you. But this guy is trying to walk away and now he's about to get dragged down to the ground and have his head kicked in. Which I'm going to blur out because I'm a firm believer in not sticking the boot in once someone's on the floor. That is a fucking cowardly act and I will not be giving it any audience here, you fucking yellow-bellied fascist pieces of shit. And should first and foremost be available to women because as we know women are better public speakers and far more eloquent than men what the fuck are you talking about you dumbass women aren't inherently more eloquent than men where the fuck did you learn that bullshit fucking now compare oscar wilde with that bitch who said cash me outside how about that or david beckham with emily bronte go and eat some crayons quinn you fucking idiot 
men in the movement aren't doing as much as they should be in our protests and direct actions. All I see in your protest are Neanderthals throwing rocks. And what direct actions are you actually taking besides the aforementioned throwing of rocks? Like during the March 25th Drumpf rally. What are you making this guy do for your video? Fucking hell, he must want that pussy bad. So, to men in the Antifa movement, here's how you can help. Give up your position to a woman, I guess, because she's a woman. Personally, I think you should all go home and have a good long think about your actions. I mean, if the amount of women in your group is a problem for you, it might be time to think about how you react to these problems, you know? This should be a strong indicator that you need to wind your neck in a bit, Quinn. But go on, what can be done about the males in Antifa besides downing a bottle of Clorex? Men should take the time to- <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I wasn't ready. Step back and reflect on their sexualities and genders. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that just then? Yeah, pop those lips, princess. <laughs> Both to allow women to exercise their right to lead and to create more diversity in the Antifa community. Whoa, there's some spinal curvature going on there, buddy. You might want to get that one checked out or you'll never find a husband. Start dressing as women at home for practice. No, no, pull the skirt up, dude. Pull it up or at least wear a G-string, you filthy slut. To see if you wouldn't mind it. I mind it. I really fucking mind it. And to put yourselves into our shoes. He's wearing the shoes as well? How did that go in the shop? Like what size foot are you, sir? Oh, uh, beta male cuck? Ah, yes, say no more. And remember to be safe and fight back. Fight back? More like baby got back. This is your solution for men to dress as women on your marches. I'm just saying, you guys have a history of punching the wrong people. I've seen some of your lot get laid out in a single hit. And now you're gonna do it as drag queens. Are you trying to be a fucking joke? Will anyone look at five transvestites knocked out on the floor and think, yep, I wanna be a part of that? Fuck no! You know, I've always laughed at the KKK outfits, but shit, you're making them look like a reasonable fashion. Greetings, comrades. <laughs> With the stubble and everything. <laughs> How is he keeping a straight face? <laughs> is Dustin27? Spokesperson for Boston Tifa. Dustin 27. Let's just move on to Dustin 28, shall we? Since this one's obviously fucking faulty. And we smash fash. More like getting your ass smashed. What's wrong with you? You do realize you aren't getting into Quinn's pants now, don't you? It might have seemed like a good idea at the time, but no, she won't be fucking that now or ever. And this is on the internet now, mate. So you might as well become a monk. So I would urge all male members of uh, our chapter in the surrounding chapters in Massachusetts area and nationwide. What's over here, Dustin27? Why do you keep looking over here? Is your masculinity just out of shot? Nah, that shit packed up his balls and left a long time ago, right? To please heed Quinn's words. Holy fuck, that was the mother of all glops. This is the spokesperson. Is that all you have? Some glopping, simpering piece of string dressed as a daytime prostitute? Is the Boston chapter like the retarded cousin of all the other chapters, or are they all like this? Uh, there is much that we can do. I'm assuming that's your script over there, Dustin27, so I would advise memorizing more than three words at a time before looking back, because you're making it look as though you're being forced to read this by some jihadi with an AK-47 pointed at you. To understand the strife and pain that uh, our members in our Antifa chapters face every day. It took you 10 seconds to say that, Dustin27. Check me out, I'll do it. To understand the strife and pain that our members in our Antifa chapters face every day. Easy. And I'm not even a fucking spokesperson. My boy Toon has a better grip on English and it's not even his first fucking language. And the challenges that they have. Fuck me, stop glopping or I'm booking a flight to Boston right fucking now. And I will drag you into the street by your fucking pigtails. Uh, we can do our part to help elevate uh, their platform and uh, allow them to express their ideas. 
I'm just gonna jump in here, Dustin27, because I haven't got all day for you to string a fucking sentence together. If this is what it takes for them to get their ideas across, I think they're having you on, mate. They stitched you up like a fucking kipper, old boy. You've been had. And their input on how to fight fascism in their communities. Well, you're not fighting fascism, you're just being dicks. If you were fighting fascism, you'd be a right thorn in the side of actual fascist groups, but you're not. You're just a pain in the ass for everyone. You're actually less bearable than the fascist groups, and now you're a much bigger joke than them too. Come on, Dustin27, either learn the script or edit the fucking video. I think this is of utmost importance for both uh, the cis female and non-cis uh-huh. And I would uh -huh. urge all of you yeah. to do your fair share yeah. and to do more. Oh, totally, yeah. Thank you. Until next time, be safe and fight back. He's even shaved his fucking armpits. Fuck me. He really wants to have sex with Quinn, doesn't he? But that ship has sailed now. He'll rock up to her. Or hey, I'm a male accepting of a woman's need to speak and I've got the wig to prove it. And she'll be like, I only date manly men. And he'll go home all sad because his face is on the internet now and dressed like that. I'm just saying, I wouldn't be surprised if the next we see of Boston Antifa on the news is Dustin27 hanging from a rope. Thanks for watching, guys. Due to YouTube's hard-on for fucking skeptic channels, I'm having to spend more time working my day job to make ends meet and less time making videos. If monetization continues to fall through, then I will not be able to continue with this channel. So please consider becoming a patron. The link is in the description. If half of you donated $1 a month, I'd be able to continue whilst keeping a firm middle finger up at YouTube. So thanks for listening, guys. And remember, to join the anti-fascists, you must behave like a fascist. Thank <laughs> you.